Okay, so welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can replace this license plate bulb, uh, which is blown on the right. Okay, so for this video, you'll need a um, flat, small flathead screwdriver and also some um, license plate bulbs. And don't worry about writing down the um, number on these, I've um, linked them. Okay, first, so first thing we need to do is just um, loosen it up. I find the seals get a little bit stuck here, so just give it a little wiggle with your finger. And then what you're going to do is just push towards the left, and then it should just you should feel a bit of a give, and it should just be able to be popped out. There we go. And what you want to do is just tip it down. Do is just tip it down like so. Okay, make sure you get the cable out far enough away, and you should be able to just see a little black clip here um, with a little release mechanism. So, just want to click that off, and make sure that this doesn't retract itself. So, hang on to that one there, and just make sure that that's going to stay there. Excellent. Okay, so then we'll get our flathead screwdriver. And what we're going to be doing is just popping this in there and you're doing a bit of a scooping motion that just pulls it out there like so okay i'm going to pop that down somewhere safe so let's stand on it and then you've got the bulb um, there as you can see okay um, and then we're just going to take that out okay okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to insert the new bulb into the holder Generally it doesn't matter which way it goes round, but if you find that it doesn't work the first time then just switch it 180 and it should then work. So it just goes in. Nice and easy there. Okay, so we've got our casing there. I'm just gonna click this back in place. Just lining up the uh, grooves there. There we go, nice big audible click. And again, you should get a nice audible click here. Okay, so obviously that's not working yet um, because the car's not on. So what we're going to do is go and turn on the car and just make sure it's working before we then put the um, the bulb unit back in place. Okay. There we go, so we've got our lights on now. So that's all working there, you can see. What we do is just um, go ahead and replace this other one in the same fashion. Okay, so we obviously need to put this back in before we tackle the other side. So we're just going to basically do what we did um, previously. And just gently ease it back into the slot there. And then push it to the right this time to lock it back into place. Okay, so let's do the other side. Okay, so again on this side we're just going to give it a bit of a wiggle just to loosen up that seal. Um, loosen up around the sides there. The left. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so that's coming away there. Brilliant. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and turn this off. Just because I don't want that bulb to be particularly hot. That's all off there. Okay, so that's all nicely cooled down now. So what we're going to do is just again, release that light there. Okay, make sure that the, um, the black cable doesn't retract up and away into the car. So there we go. And a small flat-headed screwdriver just into this corner here. And that can 
the scooping motion so that you bring that out. So this bulb is actually still working, so I'm going to put that somewhere safe just in case we need that later. And I'm going to pop this um, LED bulb straight in. Excellent, so nice click there. And we'll get the cover back on as well. Again, should have a nice clip. Make sure you get a hold of the wire. Let it nice click again. Okay, so and then what we're going to do is just pop it into the housing. There we go, and that should all be okay. And again, I'm just going to go and check it's all working now. Let's go and turn the car back on. Lights on again. Okay. Okay, so you can see that one isn't working and this is an example of where we'll need to change that around. So I'm just going to do exactly the same thing again. All I'm going to do is just turn this round 180. Put this back on. Hopefully, this should now work. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. So, then all I'll do is I'll just pop that back into its housing now. Excellent. And that's all done. You can now see that both of the lights are exactly the same, um, which is great. Nice and bright LEDs, and they should last a lot longer. So if you found this video useful, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel for future videos on my Mitsubishi Outlander PHV. Thanks for watching. See you next time.